So, do you guys like self-driving cars or electric cars? Well, imagine being able to sit in the driver's seat, relax, watch the view around you as you go to where you need to be, and just be able to sit there and relax until you arrive. Well, according to uh, benefits of self-driving vehicles, the purpose for self-driving cars are to help the blind or people who have a disability that allow them to not be able to drive, to be able to drive and get where they need to be. And uh, also, it's to help make driving more safe. Yeah. Um, so here's a Tesla charge. And here's another self-driving car with a camera on top to see where it's going. And I've watched uh, videos of self-driving cars and I mean they seem pretty cool being able to sit there and just relax until you get to where you need to be. And according to history of autonomous cars, in uh, the 1500s, Leonardo uh, da Vinci started thinking about self-driving cars and coming up with ideas about them and actually created one. And then in 1925, an inventor by the name of Francis Houdino uh, created a radio-controlled car that drove around Manhattan, and he didn't sit in it to show people that it actually worked by the radio. And then in 1939, the General Motors created a model and became real in 1938, um, which is this car. And uh, then 1977, the Japanese put cameras on the outside of the car so the car can read and see where it needs to go and read the objects around it. And then in 1990, uh, a at Carnegie Mellon University, uh, they started building self-driving cars. And then in 1995, they had researchers testing them in driving them around to see if they actually work. And then in the 2000s, they started having competitions in 2004 and 2007 uh, to have self-driving cars that were created drive across the country and see if they could actually make it. Uh, 2004, they didn't have any, but 2007, they did. And then in the mid-2010s, bigger companies were trying to make self-driving cars as well. And uh, now we have Tesla and other bigger companies bringing them out as well. And that was a little bit about self-driving cars and how they came up. And now I'm just gonna tell you about why they're a good thing. Uh, self-driving cars will reduce the number of deaths by car crashes. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the number of deaths will go down a lot with people getting self-driving cars. Uh, according to the Thales Group website, in 2017 there were 37,133 deaths that involved cars and actually 94% of those were due to human error. And uh, 94% of those were caused by other humans, which means they either on their phone or made a mistake while driving. And they're predicting that self-driving car, self cars will reduce those deaths by 90%, which would save around 30,000 of those people. Also, self-driving cars will help with the fuel economy. And uh, according to the Autonomous Vehicle Tech Guide, it states that self-driving cars will provide a reduction in fuel econ economy by between 4% and 10%. And then there was a study done at Ohio University that found that U.S. drivers waste about 31 billion gallons of fuel every year. And uh, instead of cars running on fuel in traffic jams or while you're just sitting there, uh, letting out all that bad air and everyone breathing it in, Self-driving cars will save us from that problem. Also, self-driving cars will get rid of stop-and-go traffic. So, 
According to the University of Illinois, Illinois at uh, Urbana-Champaign, self-driving cars would help with traffic when stopping and going. So when, like in a traffic jam situation where you're stopping, going, stopping, going every few minutes, that will uh, not be a problem with uh, self-driving cars being able to just slow down, speed up, slow down, instead of stopping and going, which will also help reduce accidents from those situations and save time for people on the road with not having to stop, be stopped so often. Also, self-driving cars can help with productivity, productivity and time we have to get stuff done. With self-driving cars, you can work on stuff for school, your job, emails, video calls, because the car can drive you and you can get stuff done. Um, and you could also watch movies, play on your phone, or do anything like that. And with that, people can be more productive, uh, use time more wisely, and even have make more money. Also, self-driving cars can uh, save us from road rage, from people getting mad at each other and uh, having issues that bring that up. And instead of getting mad at each other, you'll just look stupid getting mad at a computer driving the car. And then uh, there are some points about why self-driving cars are good. But on the other hand, some people might not think that and they might disagree with it. And a reason why some people might not agree is self-driving cars because some people might need training on how to learn about them and use them properly and be able to operate them correctly to drive and use them. Which might make people angry because they might not have the time or want to do that. And it could also be that the car depends on technology, so which could lead to hackers and some cyber problems. Because if people learn how to hack into those computers, they can possibly lock people in their car, change the desti destination that the car is going to, and or shut down the car overall and just create bigger problems. People shouldn't worry about having uh, training to do or anything like that because like cars like Tesla, you can put on self-driving or normal driving and you can learn self-driving on your own time and mess with it whenever you want. Also, maybe not right now, but in a few years, some more work in these cars could be trusted by everyone, 100%. I mean, just like with any ele any other electronics when they first come out, or the first few years, they're not always 100% and need a little more work. And uh, with self-driving cars, there's way more safety, because say you're out, you're at a party and you had a little bit too much to drink, then you can have the computer car drive you home, and you can make it home safely. And, or if, someone is hurt and needs a ride somewhere and with that they can't drive they can get to where they need to go safely whether that's doctors or just to see someone else or say if you leave your kid at home and they don't know how to drive but work the electronic car and something bad happens and they need to go somewhere then they can get there safely with all that being said there are the reasons why uh, you should be willing to switch to electronic cars instead of normal cars. And uh, just they can reduce the number of accidents, way more safe, and can help us with better air quality. I wanted to end you off that the, ro that, uh, the cameras that they have on the cars uh, recreate the images they see around them. Uh, to create three dimension images. See, like they see out front, oh. around the sides. 
camera here, 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 and just all those to read what's around them. <clears throat> Thank you.